ability, but... I mean, she's gonna get those crits in, and then... I'm gonna have to spend potions and and drinks to, to stay alive. Eventually I'll run out, or she'll get like two crits in a row and I'll just be dead. Huh. Maybe we came here too early, but... Okay, you know what? This is... We're gonna fade twice. It's not a lot of damage. I want to save the other two fades for uh, the Kraken. But I mean, we've done a few hundred damage. She's she's only got like 700 or 750 or so. So... Uh, Alright, full heal. This is, this is not going well. <laughs> I wish I had something that worked better on her. Alright, we got her, but yeah, that was that was not such a good fight. Whew, okay, so for this floor, the big danger is water elementals. You can't run from them. You have to win. Uh, I'm actually going to specifically have Ice 2 available for them. It's the only thing that works effectively. Yeah, there it is. So we need to get a bit lucky here and not die before we can get defended up. Oh man, nope. Just wipe. Well, too bad for you, game. <laughs> I got tired of redoing everything, so we're gonna cheese it a bit. I don't want to have to do that carry fight again, basically. That took too long. Come on, with the huge crits. But uh, yeah, the ice, the ice two spell is your best bet to kill these. For sure. What does your physical do? Fifty four on a crit, eighty one on a crit. It's not the worst, but. There's a lot of them with a lot of HP, so it's not going to be enough. Alright. I think we're in line for the Kraken here. The last boss we need to fight on this run... Um, we'll probably die. If it physically attacks us right away, we're pretty much toast. I only did two uh, ruses, we need one more. But we are alive, so that's something. So unlike um, the first Kraken, I did learn that this guy is no longer weak to uh, to lightning. So your best attack is actually like an ice spell or a non-elemental spell because it's specifically not weak against anything anymore. What I'm going to do is just buff. I'm not going to use... I'm going to save one exit, of course. But I'm going to buff my Absorb as high as I can so that it doesn't just one hit me on a crit, which it could definitely do. I'm going to try to keep my HP at max, so if it does crit, I probably won't die. And then we're just going to use our last couple fades, hope for big damage. <laughs> the funny thing is, 80 is the minimum damage the fade spell can do. <laughs> so, that was not good. We're at about 180 or so out of probably 900. Um, I've got one Cure 4 left. Huh. Probably my best bet is just Ice 2 until it dies. Did I use my third defense or did I forget about that? I want to make sure I'm extra defended just in case. So that's 79, a physical... just want to see the comparison here. We're getting a lot of crits, but... Yeah, a normal hit does one damage, so... 
it's probably better to just use this and kill it eventually, rather than worry about one damages. Also, I need to make sure I heal up a bit. Gotta stay... I want to stay above 400 if I can. Yeah, that still hurts, even with, uh, even with all that fog I put up. Alright, we're going to use our last Cure 4 here, and then hopefully we can kill it before it kills us. Yeah, okay, well, I didn't need to use the Cure 4 at all. Alright, so, oh, come on, game. Terrible. Just about away from unrunnable battles, and then they throw me this in. Now, luckily I didn't die, so... I guess we're okay, but man, that was terrible luck on the the uh, random battles. Whew. Yeah, it looks like we'll be okay here, but... I don't like running into waters right after fighting the Kraken. That's not cool. Not cool at all, bro. Alright, we gotta win. So, the final floor that we need to go to right now... We just need to not die for a couple fights. And we will be set. I think we got it. Well, we could fight four worms. That might kill us. Other than that, we should be okay. Three worms is almost four. Alright, I'm gonna actually triple just in case. Um, shoot, I got nothing to help out here. The best I can do is just hope that this kills them eventually. They've got so much HP, though. If they start getting crits, I am definitely dead. And I'm basically out of good spells now, so this is all we got. They should almost be dead, though. We gotta be getting close. Doing 50 to 80 damage every turn. You know, it's something. There you go. Another level up. Sure. And done. Sweet. Alright, so we're going to switch out the Bane Sword for that. And suddenly our attack is amazing. Six levels up. No. Ten levels up. And I could get another hit per turn. We'll be getting three hits per turn right now. At level 42, we'd get five hits per turn. Ooh. Anyway, let's get out of here. That was hectic, and I had to cheat a bit to make it. But, uh, you know how it goes, right? You know how it is. From what I've seen of chat, most people don't care if I use some save states to save some time anyway. And what I really didn't want to have to do was fight carry again one damage at a time. So now when we go back, we'll have the mass mute to actually do real physical damage. So I don't have to worry about that. So I think I'm going to want a couple more levels up before I go for chaos. But uh, we can win most fights now with melee in a reasonably good time. Well, that blizzard's getting annoying. And those crits are getting annoying. Alright, so much for winning that battle. That was good. Good start. Good start, everybody. Same fight again, exactly. Except we got a preemptive strike, I think. They need to stop using all that blizzard. It's just not cool. We should be able to one-hit these guys pretty reliably, but... It's just a matter of uh, you know, getting those hits in. So what I would normally do at this phase is just come down into uh, the first floor here, try to win a couple fights, and then uh, exit out, save, and do it again. Which is what we're going to do for a couple turns. I'm not going to spend a ton of time grinding, but we'll do it for a little bit. Like I said, the really good news is you level up real fast, so... 
We'll get like a couple more fights another level up. There you go. It's half of, half of our remaining XP in one fight. Maybe I should just attack. Because they use blizzards so often. Rather than their physical. I got a preemptive strike. I can kill one before it even gets a turn. Yeah, okay. I feel like the defense is not as helpful on this one as just killing them immediately. I think I take less damage that way. Thanks to our amazing magic, we can always heal ourselves back up a bit. Something nobody else can really do. Ah, I guess the red mage isn't too bad. Spoony red mages. If I remember correctly, chimeras are like the only enemy on this floor that will run away from you uh, once you start leveling up. Everything else you can fight pretty much forever, I think. The frost dragons might eventually, but I'm, I'm like 90% sure the worms will fight you forever. They should really have a better name than just Worm. Seventy damage? Come on, Mass Moon. You're better than that. Alright, another level up. So if you can get like, was that two or three levels up? I've still got lots of uh you know, lots of spell. I've got some spell charges, but what I want to do is exit, use a house, because I got lots, and then we just go right back in. I don't even have to go back to town like this, so it's pretty quick, like I said, for the leveling. A lot of what I want right now, because I'm not going to maximize stats right now, I'm just looking to get more HP and magic defense, which will help out against the, uh, the final boss. And more spell charges, right? That's important, too. So what else do we have to talk about? The next run? <laughs> we're, uh, we're in preparation for the hardest solo Final Fantasy 1 character. Supposedly to start on Wednesday. If I don't delay it a little bit. Which I might. See how I feel. I know some of you guys out there in Twitch land have been looking forward to the Thief solo just to see it drive me insane. I'm not so sure I'm looking forward to it though. Like you notice how I'm doing pretty good right now killing stuff with my mass mune? The Thief will never be able to do this. I suppose I should be using Fade, actually, in these big groups. It would still be pretty good. Gotta use some Fade, yeah. We'll do that next time. Got over 500 HP, that's not bad either. Okay, here we go. Fade him. 150, that's not that amazing. Fade him some more. 300's good though, I like that. I make you guys suffer. 
You, you, you don't know how hard it is to be the one doing the grinding. <laughs> Name the character rage the character rage. The traditional uh, solo character name for thief is suck. <laughs> Just to, to clear that up for people. I think we'll go to level 40 and then we'll take a run at the boss. It it really won't take very long to get to 40. And then I feel like it'll be a good point to try. We might be strong enough to win now with a little bit of save stating, but uh, I'd like to, you know, maybe show off that you could do this without save stating. We'll see. In case you're wondering, every time we go through that portal, we're going a thousand years into the past. So, uh, you know, continuity might be a little messed up here. We're killing a lot of stuff back a thousand years ago. <laughs> And then, uh, returning to our own timelines via magic. Can't imagine that's good for the time streams. Yay for Fade being good. Worms have a lot of HP, they'll never die to fade. I don't think they can die to a fade, actually. You need two at least. At least I don't have to use the uh, defense ruse trick just to win a random battle now. Like it's, it's so much quicker when you can just attack and win rather than mess around with spells every couple turns. This might be a good time for Fade, though. For whatever reason, I don't like this song very much, so we're just gonna skip that. Look at all that HP. We're gonna have over 600 HP when we do this attack. I wonder if I should go actually for... Alright, well, I'm, I'm, I'm talking myself into more grinding, but I think I said 42 is when instead of instead of uh, 3 attacks per turn or whatever we're currently getting, we'll get plus 1 on that. Maybe I should wait, because it's not too far off. Talk myself into more grinding. We have to kill Chaos, and Chaos is hard to kill before he gets a Cure 4 or a Nuke or whatever, or a Slow 2, which would be really bad. Because even though we've got the Mass Immune, we're still a puny white mage. What was that? 65 damage? That's really impressive, right? That did not work out the way I wanted it. Well, there's our 600 HP. That part is good. I say that's mostly because I got all those extra vitality early on. Definitely speeds up this part. Wow, speeds up the, the HP growth. You know, think about it, we're probably getting like five or six more HP per level up than you would normally get times like 40 levels or something like that, right? However the math would work out exactly. Alright, there's a lot of them here. This might hurt. Come on, one more die and then I'll heal. There we go. As you can see, Cure 4 is getting better and better and better as time goes on. I like it. I think we can get one more level up. Totally can get one more level up. This should do it. 
just like that, we're level 39 already. Hardly took any time at all. Is that, I would actually say this is very, like, it may feel grindy, but it's going so fast. Like, it's really not a big deal. Compared to how much time we've spent grinding on some of the other classes, this is, this is easy. Total time required to complete the White Mage run, not bad. Except we might die right now. That would suck. Just give me my cure. That was very close. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put back. I would have been... Yeah, this would have been slightly easier if I actually had uh, my full absorption up. So. Why didn't you guys remind me? <laughs> We'd be taking like six damage less every hit won't matter much versus blizzard but you know yeah so basically what I'm thinking is that right now we're getting three hits per attack at 96 percent uh, hit percent we'll get four hits per attack which is a uh, I did not successfully heal myself there uh, which is a pretty big upgrade right so I might even die if I'm not careful and lucky so um, what I'm thinking is an extra like 33% damage is probably worth however little time it takes to get to 42 right you didn't realize I had the, uh, I, I, I put the, um, black robe on way back when we fought the Kraken. <laughs> Alright, that's 40. So, uh, two more levels up. 1%, the white mage has a very slow hit percent growth. Uh, fighters get like three every level up. Hit white mages just get one. But, uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Two more levels up won't take very long. And then we'll be in a really good shape. Like right now, three hits is doing around 300 damage. If we had four hits, we might be able to kill them in one shot a little bit more reliably. Which would be beneficial for me. Oops. Okay, another chance for Fade, perhaps. Yeah, I got one. That's as good as a normal attack could possibly do, so... In that situation, Fade was a win. Almost another level up. We're almost at 41 already, so like... Yeah. I think I made the right decision going to 42. Just taking it to 11. You know how it is. There's that. Uh, do I have enough? I might have enough Cure 4 to get to one more level up before we go, go heal up. Maybe. You can hear a train. Yeah, that comes through the window pretty loud. I don't think I'm going to have quite enough healing to get this level up before I have to run away. The worms would help though, they give really good. So eight, uh, Actually, you know, maybe we've got it. I've got one more, I can probably do two more battles. I think we'll get our level up before we have to run away. And I'll just make sure we're at full health. Just in case the enemy gets to strike first. Oh, that's not something I want to fight. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't want to fight all that guck. That'll do, though. Ta-da! Alright. So with that, unless I have totally misunderstood the mechanics, we should now be able to hit more times per turn. Or just missed my numbers up. Let's just fight something easy to make sure. Uh, right. <laughs> they run away. <laughs> right, okay, well, maybe we're not going to be able to do that, but... I guess 98 heal potions will probably do. There you go, four hits, for sure. That's what I wanted to see. Alright. Now, if I get to the end of this, this dungeon, and I have zero heal potions, and I die with, you know... Just enough damage that one more 30 HP would have sailed, saved me. Then uh, you can blame me on being lazy for why I lost. This time though, we're not going to be fighting everything. Because we're just going to preserve our HP as much as we can. So the big difference from the first run through to get the Masmune is we can kill a lot of the mini-bosses and just random battles really, really quickly with a physical rather than having to hope to get the right spell. This is still a tough group, so I'll d double defense up here. And uh, I could probably use magic, but I think the sword will be quick enough for this anyway. In fact, I probably won't use very much magic at all on this run. We'll save it all for curing. And, uh, I think we can win this one easy. Yeah. Keeping in mind, of course, that a normal white wizard at level 42 would probably have, I don't know, 5 or 10 less strength, agility, and vitality. Maybe 10 or 15 less. So, uh, we are actually more evasive, do more damage, and have more HP than the average white mage. Just because I wanted to try out some stat maxing. Ah, we'll kill these guys. For old times' sake, right? Old time's sake. And then you'll all see that a white mage can beat the game on their own. Ah, the problem with the fighter is that he cannot get the mass mune and escape like we did. So he has to do this with the Excalibur. Which isn't as powerful, but he is still doing way more damage than we would be doing. Just because his physical stats are so much higher, his hit percent is always better. He'll be doing... I think his hit percent will be often around 130, 140. So he'll be doing, you know, 6 or 7 attacks per turn rather than 4. And uh, his damage is generally a bit higher too, so... But yeah, the Masmune is overpowered. It's it's your end game super sword. It's what it's supposed to be. You're probably not even really supposed to grab it and leave... You're supposed to grab it and then use it to kill the final boss. And uh, because we have the exit spell, we kind of circumvent that. And you can grab it and then grind up. And it makes the last dungeon a lot easier to redo. Alright, uh, so the Lich is always fun, right? We all love fighting the Lich. The good news is, he got a really bad crit roll and I almost one-shot him. So, uh, see you later, Lich. Yeah, if you guys have watched the uh, Fighter or the Black Belt solo runs, they did one-shot all those bosses. So, the White Mage is not as strong as them, and we're at a higher level, even though we've got the Mass Mune. The other, the other melee classes are still much stronger. This is just a nice change from not being able to do any damage to wrecking pretty well. Alright, I think I still want to defense up for Carrie. She hits pretty hard. And she's got more personal defense than uh, than the Lich did. But unlike last time where I had to kill her with uh, Thor's hammer. We got, we got killed by Rub Spell, which shouldn't even work. That should stop the Rub Spell and so should that. I have no idea why we died. Sometimes I don't understand the mechanics, even though they're supposedly pretty straightforward. So, I didn't save state it because I'm going to try not to. Because we are much, much stronger now. 
So let's try to not get one shot killed by Rub. That'd be that'd be nice. As far as I understand it. There